Uh, one of those nights where it seemed like you did get a handful of pretty good chances, just not able to get one through. Yeah, we certainly didn't uh, capitalize on the chances we did get. Um, you know, uh, but overall, I you know I really thought Wilkesbury was the better team tonight. They seemed to have a better jump than we did, and um, you know, obviously the the winning goal came off a, a poor change on our part. So uh, certainly, you know, when you think about the intangibles of a hockey game, to me, you know, changes are. A big part of that, and uh, when you're in a one-one game late like that, you know, midway through the third, you uh, you got to find a way to, uh, to to make sure that those type of things don't happen. So, um, you know, but overall, uh, like you said, the, the chances, both goalies were good. You know, and I thought Sogard was very good, and, and I thought Napier on the other side uh, made the saves uh, that counted as well. And um, it's like we're always in these one-goal games, and they they seem they got the second one, and obviously got the empty netter as well. Um, the good goaltending has been a trend, but on this side of things as well, Matt Sober seems to have kind of rebounded uh, lately from a little bit of the, I guess, blip or, or uh, trough, if you already have. Recently. Yeah, I mean, he played those back-to-back -back games in Manitoba there and had a little bit of a rough start uh, uh, on the second night. Uh, but, uh, you know, then he was uh, went down there with the injury there briefly, and uh, I think he's responded very, very well. And, you know, obviously with the situation right now, we're going to have to ride him pretty hard here uh, over the next six weeks. and. Um, but, uh, you know, he seems to be dialed in and uh, made some key saves, you know, specifically on the uh, the PK. You know, I thought both power plays had some looks and, and the goalies uh, certainly made the difference in those. Uh, you got Lehigh Valley tomorrow. Historically, they've been a, a pretty good franchise, a little bit of a down year from uh, from them this year. But what's kind of the scouting report on them? Well, you know, it's, it's you know, when you don't play the Atlantic Division as much as uh, your own division, you're quite not as familiar with. Uh, with the other teams, um, but I mean Lehigh has always been a team that's played hard for me. Obviously, I have a lot of history of playing that for, uh, organization, and um, you know, but a lot of the personnel has changed. They they certainly had their battles with COVID and injuries as well, and as we all know in the American League, that certainly plays a role uh, in parts of the season when uh, maybe you're not getting as many wins as you would like. But uh, you, you know, we were down there and. Uh, we, we played a very good game in Lehigh, and, and Gus was good. Um, but as I've said many at times, uh, anybody in this league uh, can beat uh, any team on a given night. And, uh, you know, for me, it, it's almost a, a must win for us tomorrow night in terms of the urgency level to, to get four to six and, and, and win the week, as I like to say it. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to need to be ready tomorrow night, regardless if it's Lehigh or Syracuse, whoever's coming in tomorrow night. We need to have a good 60-minute effort and get the two points back from tonight's loss. Uh, they added Brandon Manel at the trade deadline. What do you know about him? Uh, high, highly uh, offensive defenseman. Yeah, I'm not real familiar with him uh, as well. You know, like I say, I don't uh, spend that much time studying the opposition's uh, lineups until they come in, specifically when you're playing a team one-on-one. -on -one. To me, when you're playing those type of teams, it's, all of, it's more about your identity, your structure. Um, and, and specifically looking at their uh, their special teams, and I'm sure with him being an offensive defenseman, he'll be part of uh, one of their units. Will you go with McNiven tomorrow night? Uh, we haven't decided yet. We're going to sit down as a staff tonight and, and, and see uh, the workload. And um, you know, this time of year, uh, normally we probably would go to McNiven, but uh, I'm going to you know talk to PD and and see because, uh, like I said, I think tomorrow night is a needs to be a level of urgency uh, where we get those two points back here from tonight's loss.